everyone and welcome to my All My Dolls video for 2023. I'm so glad I've been able to keep up this tradition because I th think it's nice to have something like annual to focus on and things like that. And I've also been trying to do monthly uploads and there's a couple months earlier this year I was cutting it pretty close but like it's going. I'm keeping up with it somehow. Um, luckily this month was easy because I, you know, already knew what I was gonna do and it's taken me longer than I wanted you to put it together but I've been breaking it up by like little pieces every now and then and it works so yay here we are um and as you can see and if you follow me on instagram i got several new faces this year this is only a few of them and yeah let's just get to the video so the first new doll i got since last year's video is a just like you number 27 i'm named sarah she's the first edition with the permanent like star dangly earrings i kind of touched on this on a video i made about her and another doll that i got if you guys want to see that video and just, it, it, this was right after I got them. So it was like, you know, just me really excited about two new dolls and talking about them. But, so, um, but yeah, what happened was my sister was looking for Just Like You 27 and she really wanted like a newer one from like 2012-ish, 2013. That's when me and her were really into these, like the first, like this was our prime era. And she knew this doll was older when she got it and she, even though she knew she wanted a newer one, she still got her. And was like, you know what, I don't want this one. My sister wants the version with the earrings, so she gave her to me. Like, it was so random and exciting. Um, so that's how I got Sarah. And she's also, even though I'm really excited to, like, finally have, like, the version with the earrings, I think she's super cool. She also just kind of creeps me out. I don't know, we kind of joke that she looks like she's alive or used to be a person. So, like, we have this cool, like, attachment with her in that way. But also partially, um, because sometimes older dolls just creep me out. But, um, so part of me wants to get a newer one because I think I like the newer ones better. Like the 2013 ones. But also, we're, I'm so attached to her and she's kind of like a ghost. So it's like, what should I do, you know? Um, because I kind of like the little inside joke about her being haunted. But, yeah. So, that's Sarah. Um, cool. So the next new doll that I got since last year was, um, is it just like you number 36, I named Gemma Sinclair, and she was like, I wouldn't call her my grail doll, because she's technically even the one I really wanted, not one that, like, I wanted the most, probably because I knew she was so hard to find, but she's definitely, like, a unicorn for me, um, and I didn't, like, actively look up her up all the time, and just because I knew she was hard to find, I didn't want to deal with, like, that, you know, stress. But, um, I found her really randomly on Poshmark. I was just looking up American Girl dolls, like, just anything that would come up under American Girl doll. And I found her in a lot, because sometimes I'll, like, see dolls that vaguely look like they have the same hair color. And I'll, like, see if it's her or just, like, a blonde hair and the lighting was bad. But I looked, I saw this a lot of three dolls, and I was like, wait, that kind of looks like her. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, that could be her. So I saved it, like, in my likes, and then just never looked at it again, or I'd come back to it. And then I was like... I explained this in my video introducing her and Sarah where I was like kind of getting where I could possibly buy a new doll sometime soon and so I asked you know, the um seller questions about like you know what's her eyes look like what kind of what color are they because she was in the picture she was laying down so she, you couldn't see her eyes and um turned out it was just like a 36 and I asked her how much she was selling her for since it was part of a lot and I only wanted the one doll and I was and since the whole lot was 300 for three dolls I was like open to paying like 90 100 for her but the seller offered say hey I can give her two for 80 and I was like well obviously I'm gonna take that so that was a really good deal that was a very, she was a very nice seller and she came like I literally got her a week after I got Sarah to the day it was so weird but I got her on June 9th 2022 and, um, I'm so excited to have her, and it's, every once in a while, like, I'll look at her, like, look at my dolls on my shelf and be like, man, I can't believe I have her already, because, um, that's actually how I got Brennan, my, the number 43 that I, from last year's video, because I was bidding on an auction for 36, and I lost it, and I really wanted another doll, like, a new doll, so I just bought, like, a random one, but yeah, so, here's Gemma, and I'm excited to have her in this year's All My Dolls video, since she got here, like, right after the last one. By like a couple months so yeah here's a Gemma. So the next new doll I got last year is just like you number 40. I named her Andy Jane and she I got her on July 21st I do believe and I got her and one of the other dolls in this video um from the benefit sale actually it was the first year I was able to participate in the benefit sale because it was I believe the second year they were doing it online because when 2020 happened they had to start doing it online um so that was the I think the second or third year they were doing it online, but the first year they're offering shipping, which was a disaster, and they're not doing shipping now, they're going back to in-person. But I'm glad I got to participate at least once, you know, before they start doing it back in Wisconsin again. 
But so um, she's just like Unibrew 40 and I remember like kind of discovering that I wanted her kind of around the time I started using Mercari. So I remember I had like just missed a really good listing for her on Mercari. So she's kind of always been probably my actual like, grail doll for a long time and I go back and forth between wanting to get her. But then when I did have money I was looking for a doll, I really wanted other dolls because I, I go back and forth fluctuate between what dolls I want. But she's kind of always been like, I need to get her. So, and I always want, I was like really picky. I want her to be in really good shape because some sometimes I'll see listings for her, but her hair is not in good shape and she's just been like really played with. And it's just like, you know me, I want her like nice and crisp and fresh. I love her short hair and everything. So, um, I got her on the benefit sale and I'm so excited because ugh, it took me so long to get her. But, um, just, I love her so much. She's my favorite doll. I brought her to American Girl Place, um, because I had my birthday party there this year and it's just like, ah! memories with her so yeah this is Andy Jane finally so the next new doll I got last year I actually got when I got Andy so this is just like you number 35 I named them Haley and um this is a doll I've also wanted for a really long time um because she's kind of one she's kind of like one of those just like yous that are like obscure but also not super like expensive or sought after and I kind of would go back and forth every once in a while I'd be like oh yeah I remember number 35 and be like oh I'm gonna try to find one and then I just never ended up getting one but I actually got them like I said in the bonus sale with Andy and because the dolls are really cheap and I was trying not to go crazy but I was like let's see if they have because they were like half off basically so like just like you dolls were like $45 and they did have number 35 I didn't expect that I didn't expect them to have either of these two but, um, so this is Haley, and I don't have much to say about them, except that I just think they're really cute, and, uh, like, it's taken me a while to, like, you know, form a, form a bond with them, because, like, you know, I got so many new dolls last year, it actually has been really hard to, like, fully bond with all the new ones, but, um, I am grateful that, like, I did finally get this doll, and I'm just like, yay! So this was my, I haven't been keeping up the numbers, because I did sell a doll since last year, and so my numbers are all skewed, but this was, Haley was technically my 18th doll, so, but yeah, here's Haley. So the next new doll I got last year was another surprise doll, and this is just like you number 41, and I named her Mavis Mildred, and she was a surprise doll for my sister, um, really randomly. Looking back, she explained why she got me this doll so randomly, it's because we were both really close to hitting 20 dolls, and she got me a doll for Christmas. We will learn who that is later in this video, but, um, so she had to, like, catch us up, and she knew I wanted a number 41, and again, one of those, like, random, just, like, yous you don't, like, you know, you kind of forget about, but she's so cute. She's kind of like Ruthie. She's similar to Ruthie, but she has, like, the feathered eyebrows and br dark green eyes, but I, I love her. She's so cute. I keep forgetting I have her, because, again, last year was a blur with how much my collection grew, but I have her dressed up in this, in some of Courtney's clothes right now, and she looks really cute as an 80s doll, especially where Courtney just has a, just had a new pajama set release, the Strawberry Shortcake one, and I already have the Care Bear one, I thought I could get it for Mildred, and then, um, like, have her wear it, so I kind of think she's going to be, like, an 80s doll, but not really sure, but yeah, this is Mavis Mildred, number 41, I'm so excited that I finally have her, and she's so cute, she is, like, an underrated doll in my collection, because I always forget about her, and I need to do more stuff with her. I don't think I've, like, officially posted her on my Instagram, because I did post, like, shortly after I got her, but the pictures weren't very good, and I just didn't want to deal with it, so I just kind of, like, and I wasn't very active on Instagram anyway, so I just kind of archived them and then took a really long break. So, yes, this is Mavis. Welcome, Mavis. So, the last new doll I got last year was Ivy. I got her on Christmas in 2022. And it was a really sweet and exciting story behind her because my sister and I, our collections have kind of grown at the same rate. Sometimes one of us will be like a dollar or two ahead, but pretty much we have the same amount, usually. And um, we were coming up on our 20th dolls, and... Um, so, and we had gotten each other dolls for Christmas before, and since, like, you know, we both got a lot of dolls, a few, quite a few dolls last year, um, we were both like, yeah, we're not gonna do dolls for Christmas this year, it's just, like, so much, because we got each other dolls earlier that year in, like, the spring and summer. So it's like, okay, you know, not gonna do that, but that means I was completely, like, out of nowhere whenever... Um, we were, like, almost done opening presents, and she gets this giant box out from behind the couch. And I wasn't even supposed to know this box was there, but I did earlier that night, but I didn't think anything about it, because I thought it could be something for me, or it could be something for our parents, like, I don't know. Um, it was always supposed to be, like, a surprise, like, a big secret, because it was behind the couch. 
And um, so she got it out and then opened it. And then so with giant box, you open it. There's two wrapped doll shaped boxes. I'm like, oh my gosh, she got us dolls. Like she got us both dolls. Like she got us ma some kind of matching dolls. And I had no idea what to expect, but I opened it and it was Ivy and then she had Julie. And it's just so cute and like sentimental because our first dolls were Ivy and Julie. She got Ivy as her first doll and I got Julie as my first doll. That was in 2011. And so we've been into this for over a decade. We've been like bonding over this hobby. And then so we kind of circle back to our 20th dolls as Ivy and Julie. And it was so much. And apparently she'd been playing this for a while. That's why she got me Mavis number 41 in October was because um, she, we had to even our collection. So we'd each hit 20 at the same time. But yeah, so she, and she told me recently that the Julie doll she got for her, like was pretty much complete when she got her, but she had to piece together Ivy and like her, outfit and accessories and everything so we'd each have like the complete doll but also once we were opening our stockings and I don't even have footage of this to remember this because um I didn't even think like you know anything you know what I mean I didn't think this was gonna happen but she also got me Ivy's New Year's outfit so I'd already have it and she got herself Julie's Christmas outfit so it's like you know that was so she was just so um like you know she got all these little extras to go with them too and it was so sweet and it was so I'm so grateful for that but yeah um I'm trying not to ramble too much because I have like 20 to 20 ish dolls now so it's like this is gonna be a long video but i'm just this was such a sweet surprise for my sister and i haven't been able to do much with ivy but she again with like a lot of my character dolls especially where it's ivy and i wasn't expecting to get her yet it's just like i haven't had time to like process that she's here but i have her kind of redressed in this little outfit right now but yeah i'm just such a cute story i'm so grateful for my sister and i love that we bond over this and yes here's ivy so the last new doll that I've gotten since the last video is the first doll I got this year and the only one I've gotten so far in 2023, but I have Corinne Tan and she was my 21st doll and I got her for my birthday in 2023. I got her, we went to American Girl Place Columbus for my birthday and we got to do the birthday party with the pizza and everything and it was really fun and um... And I wanted to make sure I got a doll and luckily I had like spending money from Christmas my birthday that I saved so I was able to get a doll and a couple other things but Corinne I hadn't originally planned on getting yet because whenever she first came out like a lot of the times I'm not like super excited when the new releases come out and stuff like that I'm not good with like change and new things but I'm always still excited to see the new girl of the year and honestly I should just like give it a few months before I form my opinions on them because it's new information of course it's going to take a while to process it but she started growing on me my sister actually got her earlier last year because she was a girl of the year 2022 and you know seeing her in person and seeing her stuff she's really cute like you know she started growing on me and then um whenever girl of the year 2023 is announced Kavi I was like I think she's cute but I probably won't get her like um so once I knew that the new girl of the year like I probably wasn't super into and didn't plan on getting I was like okay I really want Corinne because she's grown on me and even though like she's still gonna be around all year it's like you know usually around two years they start retiring the girl of the years now two or three so it's like okay I'm getting Corinne so I suddenly just right before my trip I got really fixated on getting her so that's who I got and she's really cute I'm just now getting to where like I'm playing with her hair and changing her outfit so like I just took down her hair like the the braids in it that come in it the hairstyle I just took it oh, down like a couple <laughs> days ago so it's like okay I'm just now getting to like bond with her and connect with her but she's really cute I'm glad I added to her to my collection and I really love her face mold because it reminds me of the Nanea mold but they did make a few like they did make it a little bit different when they made it for Corinne so it's like her own original mold but I I love like I love her so much she's so cute I'm glad she's in my collection and I'm happy to like take a break from adding so many dolls to my collection this year because wow it's overwhelming I actually put some dolls in storage in my closet which is the first time I've ever done anything like that well, first time in a while anyway. I think I used to do that when I was like, um, I think I used to do that. But, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, this is Corinne. Welcome, Corinne. And so this is going to be a bit of a different segment for this video because for the first time in my life, I sold one of my dolls. Um, technically I sold two of them because I sold the Welly Wisher that I had that I found at Goodwill, but I don't really talk about them on the channel or anything and they're not part of my all my dolls videos but I did like start downsizing a tiny bit even though it was only one doll um so I sold my just like you number 43 named Brennan I'm probably going to reuse that name now because I love it and I just didn't connect with that doll um I think it's because even though it was a doll I really wanted when I was younger I think my taste and like which dolls I like changed so it was more like I always I used to want this one 
and I like just you know kept going with that and then the doll that I got was like in worse condition than I thought she was going to be and I think that was part of it like I just couldn't get the shine marks off her face and I just didn't really do anything with her and especially where she was such an impulsive purchase um like that wasn't even a doll I was wanting to get it's just I lost an auction for another for like a different doll and I was upset so I bought another one but yeah I did make a decision to sell her because I needed the extra money and it wasn't as hard as I thought because I really just you know didn't want that doll anymore but it's also like now I'm trying to be really particular about impulse buying and trying not to do that anymore because I hate having to sell a doll because also I would talk to my sisters like oh it's kind of messing up the whole Ivy was my 20th doll thing because now I have 20 dolls but I feel like even though, like, my number's back down to 20, all these dolls will still originally be the insert whatever number doll they were. So Ivy will always be my 20th doll and things like that. But yeah, so I feel like I'm going to do this segment in the video because I don't know if I'll sell any more dolls in the future. Um, but it's like, I don't want to, like, forget the ones I used to have. So this is the first, it, this is, like, the first time I'm using this segment. And so far it's only just the one doll. But, um, cool. So this next section is going to be dolls that I already had and have already been in previous videos. So the first doll in my collection is Julie Albright and I got her on November 12th, I want to say, 2011. She was my first doll and I, um, I, I don't know where to start. It's, I've had her for so long. I've had her for like, how long going on? 12 years at this point and um, I love her a lot. She's been in storage with a few of my other dolls for a while, um, but I still have really special memories attached with her. And she's been very well, well loved, very well played with doll. Um, it doesn't show up on camera, but she has, she's, you know, going through it at the moment. I need to cl clean her hair again. Um, but I remember why I got, why I grew like attached to Julie was my first, one of my first introductions to American Girl were these little books that came as like McDonald's toys for a little period of time. And they had, I got Molly's book, and um, in the back they had like, you know, they showed all the different characters that you could get books for in your Happy Meal, and one of them was Julie, and it said she was creative, and I was like, ooh, I want that because I'm creative, because I was an art kid, you know? And so whenever I actually got a catalog and started learning more about the dolls and stuff, I like grew really attached to Julie, and I love her collection a lot. Um, part of me wants to start collecting some of her old collection since I always wanted a lot of it growing up, but hopefully I can get around to that, but yeah. So this is Julie, she's adorable. So the second doll in my collection is the Just Like You number 25. Her name is Beverly Ingrid Renee Lee, and I got her on January 25th, 2013. She was a birthday present, and, um, she's probably one of my favorite dolls even though she's like, um you know, one of the more common dolls, I guess, but I still really like her, and she's, like, the doll I got that looked the most like me, and I don't have much else to say, just that she's really cute, and she's really special to me, because she was one of my, you know, like, oldest dolls, and I've had her for so long. I've had her for 10 years this year, actually. Wow, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's Beverly. So my third doll is Lainey Holland, and she is the Girl of the Year 2010. I got her in March of 2016, I want to say. Um, and she was my Grail doll for a long time, um, so I'm kind of grateful I was able to get my Grail doll, like, at such a kind of early point in my collecting. Um, I mean, I've been collecting at, for, like, five years at that point, I think, because I got my first doll in 2011, but, um, if, since I've been doing this for over a decade at this point, it is, like, oh, you know, pretty, you know, early in my, like, collecting career, I guess, to get my girl doll. I haven't had another girl doll since then, but she was the first one that I was ever like, I need her, and I need to get her. And she's been, she was one of my favorite dolls for a while, and I really like her. I have a lot of special memories with her, and I remember saving up to get her, and then getting her, and then I was so exciting, and I was so, like, shaky and nervous and excited at the same time when she finally got here, and I had to, like, open the box and stuff. But yeah, she's one of the other dolls that's been in storage for a while. But I should probably, you know, rotate some other dolls and then bring her back out because she's adorable. So if you ever are thinking about getting her or trying to find her, I find her for pretty good, like, deals. You just gotta look, you know? Um, but yeah, if you ever, like, thinking of getting her, I definitely recommend her. 
So the fourth doll in my collection is Nenea Mitchell and I got her in October I think of 2018 at the American Girl Place Columbus and that particular trip was really exciting because we brought my younger cousin to pick out her first doll and I was like you know just excited to go to the store again because it was my second time there. Um, but my mom was like obviously I'm gonna buy you girls a doll too so we got dolls and um, I picked out Nenea and that was exciting because it's the first doll I ever got there even though it was the second time I went to the store and um, it was really exciting and it was right around like a year or two after she came out um, after she was released and I was really excited to get her because I um, wanted her like really bad for a year or so so it was really exciting so yeah there's Nenea she's actually the last doll I got before we moved out of our old house into our new house that we live in now so it's kind of like you know She's kind of like the last doll I got when I still kind of felt like a kid and stuff since that was the house I grew up in. And it's just, yeah, she's always kind of had that meaning for me and that association and stuff. She's probably one of my favorite dolls. I ended up buying my mom one, um, like, a, for Christmas a couple years ago because she really liked Nenea and she would joke that it was her doll too. So I was like, I gotta get her one. So she has one, so we both have Nenea. So that's just cute. But yeah, Nenea. So the fifth doll in my collection is Samantha Parkington and I got her in 2019 I believe, maybe like spring or summer of 2019. I think it was summer because it was right after I graduated but um, she's a pleasant company Samantha and I kind of bought her really impulsively. I was like you know what I need a Samantha because you know she's kind of like one of the classic ones out of like the original girls I think she's my favorite so I always really liked her books. But yeah I don't have much else to say that I haven't already said in another video but I really do love her. Um, she's been in storage for a bit with some of my other dolls because she's more of like a collector's piece which they're all collector's pieces but like I don't do much with her because she's older and I don't want to mess her up but um yeah so this is Samantha she's adorable. So the sixth doll in my collection is Josefina Montoya and I got her in um, I think it was maybe I want to say the summer of 2020, I think. She was kind of an impulse buy because I had actually originally been saving to get a new tattoo. But this was, yeah, I got her in maybe like March of 2020. And I was saving to get a tattoo and I, because of, you know, world events of 2020, I was not going to be getting a tattoo for a while. So, and I wanted to buy something with all that money that I saved. So, um, I... So that the dolls are on sale back down to like $95 again because every once in a while they'll go all the way down if they're like getting rid of old stock or discontinuing dolls. And um, that includes a lot of the historicals because they're probably just getting rid of old stock. And I was like, you know what, I've wanted Josefina like on and off for a while and that was when I was back on to like, oh, I would like to get her someday. So I got her. I ended up cutting her hair at some point. I don't fully know how how I came to this idea but um and it's not the worst haircut and I still like can do these cute braids with it but um yeah don't just cut your doll's hair if you don't have experience with it do as I say not as I do but yeah so this is Josefina she's really pretty like underrated doll in my opinion underrated historical character and yeah she's just adorable so the seventh doll in my collection was Caroline Abbott and I got her in like August or just summer fall of 2020 and I actually found her on Depop for a really good price but it was kind of funny because the person that I bought her from I bought her and then they had just gone on vacation like the day I bought her and they left they weren't gonna be back for a week but I was like listen it's fine I've wanted this doll for a while and like I've had my eye on this specific listing for a while so like I can just I can wait another week for her to be sent out like it's fine and so that's how I got Caroline and I've been wanting her for a while like even before then because um, I remember when she first they announced they were retiring her and I was really sad and I was like I'm going to get her, I'm going to get her winter coat, I'm going to save up the money, I'm going to buy it before they stop selling her. And that didn't happen because I was like, I don't know, maybe 13 and like I didn't have allowance, I didn't have a job, I was in middle school. So that didn't happen but I did eventually get her and this past winter time I did get her coat. So finally completed this like bucket list item so yay, that's good. She's one of my favorite dolls. Um, I love styling her hair. I love like putting it up in rollers and then taking it down and seeing the like results and stuff. She has really pretty hair. But yeah, I don't know what else to say, but Caroline, beautiful doll, recommend. And she was my seventh doll, so. So the eighth doll in my collection was a Just Like You number 23 that I named Paisley. And I got her for Christmas of 2020. My sister got her for me. That was the first time, like, um... My sister got a doll for me because we kind of been doing it back and forth or just 
like in the last couple of years, we've both gotten each other um, several dolls. So kind of this was the start of that. And um, she's kind of like a horse girl type character. I've always had this vision for this doll that um, I'd get like one of the cowgirl horse themed equestrian themed outfits for her and I do have one of those for her. She's not wearing it right now though because she's been in storage but yeah so I love that I got to see that vision come to life and she's really cute. I recommend her if you want to get her. Um, she's retired now though which is sad. But um, my number 23 actually has an issue like an issues with her legs so I ended up getting the, the arm crutches from American Girl for her and they're really cute and they work really well and um, I'm, I think it's cool that they have something that's like functional but also a good form of representation so like um, it's like a cool addition to her so but yeah this is Paisley so the ninth doll in my collection was actually a custom doll that I'm that I made um, she's a just like you 43 that my sister actually my mom and my sister found for me at Goodwill and she was in pretty rough shape she's only about five bucks her wig was like cut all to pieces like her bangs were basically gone her wig is really short and um, she has really bad ink transfers on her limbs but um, and her face had like old play makeup on it um, so she was only like five bucks and my mom didn't want to leave her my sister didn't want to get her because she was just you know definitely a project doll but um my mom ended up getting her for me and then um but um so I worked on her I gave her a Luciana wig I tried to clean up her face the best I could her limbs I just kind of like thought about getting her a new body but I never really got around to it um but I've actually thought about selling her as kind of like someone else's project doll just because I never really bonded with her and I need the room and stuff like that so she's probably like the next on the chopping block as far as my dolls go um but yeah not much I'll say about her she was kind of like supposed to be like a horror movie themed doll so she um was named after um Jennifer Tilly the actress that plays Tiffany Valentine in the Chucky movies and then like I would always put on this little leather jacket kind of like how Tiffany wears and things like that but um yeah so this is Tilly so the tenth doll in my collection was Rebecca Rubin, and I got her in spring or summer of 2021, I think. Um, and I got her on Mercari, and it was really cute. She came with like her pajamas and stuff in the listing. And she's probably one of my most photogenic dolls, but one of my, my most underrated and forgotten dolls in my collection, which is ridiculous because she's gorgeous. Um, so I've been trying to like, I really need to take her off the shelf and, you know, do her hair, get her dressed up in something that's not her pajamas, and then just, you know do that because she is, you know, one of their prettiest dolls, I think, and I just don't do anything with her, but yeah, so she was my 10th doll, and this is Rebecca. So the 11th doll in my collection is Addie Walker, and I got her in, I think it was the summer of 2021, and she's the 35th anniversary Addie, and me and my sister kind of like, not impulsive, kind of impulsively, but also like once they announced the 35th anniversary dolls, we didn't have a lot of time to decide if we were going to buy any because they ended up being really popular and like certain characters sold out faster than others. But um, because they were limited to Shingo. No? But we decided, okay, there's, she wanted Molly, I wanted Addie, we both wanted older versions of them. Um, so we were like, hey, we should get some of these, you know, it's like a celebration. So, um... We both, you know, bought them and stuff, so, because I was thinking about getting Addie, and, um, I wanted, like, an older version, like, 2012, 2011, around that era, because that's when I was, like, the, that was the prime of my American Girl initial obsession, and I wanted her in, like, her older outfit, so that's, you know, who I got, um, and she's really pretty, she's one of my favorite dolls, and really I need to get more Addie molds, because I love this mold, I love her face, and, like, her features, and I love so many of the dolls that they've made with this mold but yeah so there's Addie and fun fact I've had this dress for several years before I got her because I got it for Christmas in 2012 when I only had one doll and so for years it's just been like like I used it but like you know it looks really good on her so because they made it for her so it's kind of nice to have it you know have the doll to go with her and stuff and she's just so cute I just not much else to say just that she's adorable and I love her and if you don't have an Addie get one because she's adorable I don't know. Okay, but yeah, cool. Thanks. So the 13th doll in my collection is Courtney Moore, and I got her, um, I think it was February of 2022, so it's been about a little over a year now since I got her. She was one of the dolls that really 
one of my recent dolls that really sparked like like inner child like love of this again and I was so excited about her I ordered her and a few of her little mix and match pieces and I was just so excited for her to come in the mail and I think she was the first like new doll I bought from them nope that's a lie I was about to say new doll I bought from them since 2020 but no I got Addie but yeah um I love her her hair is like easier to manage than I first expected but I definitely don't do much with it um but I don't know really what to say in these collection videos and stuff because not all my dolls have bios or lore or anything but I love Courtney and she's adorable and I am excited to collect more of her collection I guess but yeah I definitely recommend her as long as you like um are like gentle with her hair don't do much with it or like mainly collect and not play because um her hair is delicate but she's adorable and I love her so the 14th on my collection was just like number four and I got her in I think summer of 2022. She was from that little period last year where I just got like so many dolls in a very short period of time because I got Courtney. A few couple weeks later I found Alice for very cheap on Facebook Marketplace. She was like $80. That's like insane for her because she can go for like so much money. So I just, you know, impulse bought her. And then a little bit tiny bit after that my sister gave me um, a doll that she didn't want anymore. And then a little bit after that, I found um, my Just Like You number 36, which you saw on this channel. So it's like, oh, that escalated quickly. So but she was kind of the start of that because before then, I just had Courtney as my new as my newest doll that year. And I didn't plan on getting any more anytime soon. And then all that happened. So, but yeah, I love this doll so much. I never really like let myself get like super... Uh, obsessed with trying to find it just like you know before because it's not that she's hard to find anymore she's just expensive because people know that like they don't use this face mold anymore and they know she's like highly sought after and so I just never let myself get like attached to her and then I found her for a really good deal so I immediately bought her so then she became I went from like not thinking that much about her because I knew she was hard to get to like she's like one of my favorite dolls now so um, I definitely recommend her. I have an older one with the pie bangs and they're really cute, although the pie bangs aren't normally my favorite. They do look really cute on her and I love dressing her up in like these older 90s outfits because she's, you know, an older doll. So, but yeah, there's Alice. Her name's Alice Josephine and yeah, there's Alice. <laughs> so that was all of my dolls as of April 2023. And I'm really grateful I was able to add so many new faces to my collection in this past year. And I'm hoping to slow it down a little bit though. I've only gotten one new doll this year. Um, I got her at the store on my birthday and that was a really fun adventure. So hopefully I'm able to continue slowing it down because I don't have room, it's expensive, and I, you know, I just don't need that many, you know what I mean? I don't need many more. So yeah, cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, enjoy hope you guys enjoyed this year's installment and look looking forward to next year. Bye.